Good morning foundation followers. Today I'm doing a video on gorgeous classic foundation. It is the season to be jolly. The red lip should be busted out this season. Even if you haven't done it before, suggest trying it. It is super duper duper fun. However, the absolute cornerstone of a great red lip is not so much in the lip as much as the foundation. You have to have an absolutely flawless foundation, beautiful brows and beautiful lashes. In my next video, I'll do the do's and don'ts of the red lip, but this one is all about the skin. All right, starting with primer, of course, taking a couple of squirts and popping it on as you would moisturizer, avoiding your eyelids. It's got a beautiful light reflective quality, very luminous, uh, directing light away from fine lines and pores, making skin look absolutely awesome and keeping your foundation on for longer. Speaking of foundation, we'll then use our foundation foundation with our foundation brush. A little bit goes a long way. All we want from our foundation is a lovely, even skin tone with light cover. Extra cover we get from Photo Touch Concealer and Illuminator Pen. So taking a teeny weeny bit of it and starting in the centre of the face, easier to take add than take away. So we start with a little bit, adding as we need to. Again, might have been a bit generous there. There I am, easier to add than take away. No, we'll be right. Uh, we are changing season at the moment. So everyone's gaining a wee bit more colour as the sun comes out more. Don't get stuck using your winter foundation on a nice tan summer skin. When I say tanned, I mean with 15 plus, of course. So we've got a nice even skin tone. However, I do have a capillary here I'd like to cover, and a teeny tiny spot there I'd like to cover. I'm going to use the Photo Touch Concealer, taking a little bit of product on this finger, popping, popping it onto the affected spot. Now just sort of leading the edges away with the product less finger. Not my spot. Cha cha. Little spots. Alright, now illuminate a pen. Underneath the eyes and up over the smiling lines. This gives us a very well rested appearance, plumps lines and also reflects light away from imperfections, leaving us looking rested and well. Yay to the illuminated pen. Eye primer. Our eyelids tend to be a different colour to the rest of our face and different to each other actually. Some people are a bit more red, some people are a bit more grey, browny, veiny, different in every case. But this just lightens up the face by neutralising that colour. It's also a waterproof product, creates a lovely canvas on which to pop your eyeshadow so that it doesn't crease. Remarkable product, we love it, we love it. I mentioned before that it's all about the brows and the lashes. Fling is one of our favoured eyebrow pencils. Now you just draw lines where you wish there was hair. Little tiny light little lines and it creates a very manicured brow without looking like you've drawn it on. It's a bit sparse through the beginning here so just doing a... There we go. Thank you bling. Lashes. Now due to the fact that we've got the eye primer on, we've got this lovely light veil on our eyelids, the mascara tends to stand out more. Now I'm a top lash girl, however I do very much like mascara on lower lashes. It's just that I tend to create quite a mess whenever I wear it, so it's just a personal, a personal uh, preference. I think I might have quite watery eyes, I'm not sure, but I tend to make a mess, not everyone does. Now, using our foundation palette, we're going to, although we look nice and even, we look a little lifeless, 
going to pop a little bit of cream blush in our cheeks to make us look healthy and vital better already right into the apple voila there we are we're looking much healthier look at that a nice clean complexion ready for the red lip which will be in my next video of course you can powder this down it depends it, the powder does set the makeup and is a really good idea um, however I'm quite a dry person so I choose not to however if you tend to be oily and your makeup doesn't stay on very well I would definitely recommend powdering down with the invisible blotting powder at this point alrighty then best of luck and I'll see you in the red lip video next week